So since I, I briefly only talked about it, but I didn't, I forgot to actually ask you, what are orbs? Because I've seen them. I know that's a phenomenon. And I was just wondering what, what you hear about that. Yeah. So for me, orbs, and everybody sees them differently. Orbs, sure. I love how you said that you couldn't, that you didn't, as soon as you looked at the ghost, you yeah. know, it went away. So yeah. this is how orbs come. Orbs are always on peripheral because if they're not on our peripheral, like now they're not for me, but, but still they, some, they are like two, maybe two thirds of the time. Um, hmm. Because when they're in front and center, you can't, the brain turns on. And so it's going to be judgmental because it's yeah. trying to understand time and space. And so then the orbs are like, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it, <laughs> it almost can't show up. It's not mm -hmm. even that the orbs move, it's that you move. So you can't, your brain can't show up in understanding that. Mm -hmm. So usually you're going to see flybys at the beginning of orb seeing. It'll be a flyby. Yeah. It'll always yeah. be like zoomy. Um, so I always see them, especially when I when people are like, oh no, I want to see you in person. I'm like, oh, there's a whole bunch of magical things that happen when you do it online, you know? Yeah. I always think it's actually easier sometimes online because mm. you're having the energetic courting of literal electronics. And that energetic courting is actually, they love to use frequency like that. So they love, mm. they're easily accessible through that. Um, it's also why things get, okay, I'm just like blessing the situation. I'm like, we don't have to experience this right now, but they usually mess up, you know, stuff like that of, of yeah. the frequency of internet of stuff like that. When I have people that have a lot of stuff coming through, my internet will always go wonky. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I really kind of roll my eyes at it. Cause I'm kind of like, Oh God, like, I'm like, okay, they just energetically, it just needs space. We just need to like sit with this. I kind of sit in the fire of it. Yeah. So I just like sit with their energetic field, even though the person's like, Vanessa, did you hang up on me? And I'm like, I can't answer you because I have no internet, you know? And so it's just like, I just sit there with their energetic field of being like, you're safe. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Because emotion messes up that frequency. Mm. Um. So why am I talking? I have no idea why I'm well, talking. We, we, we started talking about orbs and then we, yes. it, it, we just yes. follow the groove from there. <laughs> follow the path. Um, that's yeah. right. Um, so, and then in terms of hauntings, and this is maybe a question maybe based off of things I've seen, you know, not in person, but on TV. Um, are there different types of hauntings? And I'll, I'll follow that up with, examples that I've heard of people talk about. Now, there's a period where I got very, very into um, paranormal, like yeah. documentaries, which may or may not have been documentaries I about totally paranormal stuff. I totally see you in this field. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm I serious because you are, you have a scientific background of your, of yeah. your mind. So you can go into this. Like me, yeah. not good. You, yeah. absolutely good. There's somebody else who... Um, uh, is in our class actually a class above us who we'll, we'll all really? discuss privately who does this and he, <laughs> no he definitely joke. wants to remain very private i'll talk to him in understandable information but he was and you would never guess this person yeah. and just he's one of those people who are like i'm like oh my god of course you do this because he can there mm -hmm. is people who do hauntings or or do um uh go in the realm of identifying hauntings or identifying ghosts or identifying, you know, it's like, it's always like the same thing of what we're talking about with ghosts. Oh, they're always, you know, they, they, they go off into little categories and then it's like, Oh, the ghost will only show them to one person. So they're just yeah. like, ah, or I didn't get on a film or I only got like a little blur right. that's orchestrated, meaning yeah. media wise, that's orchestrated energetically. Because yeah. the energy mm. is only going to show up if it wants to, you know what I'm saying? Right. You don't control it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So um, ha hauntings to me are, again, it's also the perception, our perception of it. So it's of, just- kind of, of it being ener the energy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the hauntings are more like our perception is, oh, something's wrong here. 
or mm -hmm. there's some, or somebody died. Like I, here's a great example. Yeah. I went to the barracks building um, and the barracks building here in Haynes, Alaska is a very, very old building. It's, and somebody killed themselves in it um, a long, long time ago. I think it was in the twenties or something like that. And so it's just a historic building. It's very fascinating. And someone's like, and of course, they're just like, oh, you're a psychic. Like everybody asks, did you did you, hear, did you see the person? Did you see the person that killed themselves? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, sure. Did you see the person walking down the street? They also killed themselves. You, like it doesn't <laughs> matter. Like they're not like the only thing. If you see that you're psychically picking up on that condensed energy. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a shock to the system. So mm. you're up psychically. So you're seeing that. And so then you're also projecting it as if, you know, they didn't go to heaven. Suicide, I have a whole, we should do a whole pot. I would love to do a pot, even with I your was, friends. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I, I didn't know if that would be, yeah, it's, that was almost be a question I would ask off, offline just to be, because it is, you know, obviously very sensitive top, topic, super. but I'm fascinated about what you have to say about it. So. Yes, I, I have a whole lot to say because it's really important in education um, yeah. about that. Like really, really okay. important because it, it changes everything that we knew. And I learned about suicide for many years of having um, clients from the other side yeah. sure. of suicide. And I call it suicide victims because mm. it's not um, it's not really taking your life. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I consider a suicide victim of, uh, of experiencing that and so forth. But, okay. um, so I would have people come to me and say, oh, well, did you, the, it must be haunted or da, da. And haunting is just like, do y'all know that you're just intuitively tuning in? <laughs> like, this is yeah. nothing wrong here. Like, so, and again, if they see anything or they see, you know, feelings of, uh, ah, or violence or anything like that they're tuning into that and they might feel the energy of that. And it might appear as a ghost. It might appear as something because their mind is um, collecting data in a way mm. to kind of put the storyline to understanding. There's nothing wrong. It's mm. you're not making it up. It is actually happening for us to understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Of tapping in of all we're doing is tapping in. We're just right. tapping into that frequency. Um, and we're tapping into the frequency of condensed energy. So it doesn't, when they say, oh, okay, let's say somebody uh, moves tables or slams doors or violently, da, 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 da. That to me is actually, to me, that means you have an entity attached to you that is also kind of arguing with possibly the entity energy that appears to be so-and-so. And so there becomes mm -hmm. this clash of like, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Uh, 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 and it comes like an energy uh, war, you know? Oh, look at that. Fireworks behind me. I don't know if you see that on me. <laughs> I do. Is that a... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, you literally were about to say energetic battle and... I know. I mean, it's Are like you... fireworks for the July. <laughs> You're, you're not pushing buttons, are you? <laughs> I am not. My hands have been here. <laughs> I don't even know how to make that happen again. <laughs> that is, um, yeah. I, you know, someone. there is. <laughs> <laughs> it is so typical. <laughs> I. Oh, God. That <laughs> kind of made my scalp tingle. That was wild. Um, I. It's seriously like, <laughs> like, I wish like people like, like, and I, this sounds so arrogant and I don't know how to say this, but I'm like, I really feel like I need a, like somebody who follows me with a camera, like every day stuff like this happens to me. Really? And I'm not saying this like in like, Oh, be me. Like it's hard. It's not like, like all the good stuff or something, like that. but it's weird. Like I live a very strange, weird life. <laughs> and so will everybody was... else as the more you into it the more you wake this up that's the stuff that happens you know and, and i'll just let me just say i've like all of us been stuck in various zoom worlds since 2020 and i have never seen anything like that happen i don't even know how to activate that i don't know that you have to, i think you have to activate that like literally at the beginning of the recording like when you jump on you have to choose your background uh, or maybe yeah. that's a setting that i 
don't pay the I've premium never for the fire if possible. That's <laughs> wild. Somebody man. look it up of being like how to get yeah. fireworks on. So here's the thing. This is this is the be the best part. You yeah. know, somebody it'll probably say, "Oh, well, hit F5." Well, I obviously didn't touch any of the keyboard or stuff like that. But that kind of stuff, it comes it it'll show up because of our frequency. So like yeah. when I was saying, oh, energetics are really good. Like when I said, oh, when I read people online, it has its own magic. That's the magic because it's able to, they're using energy is using the physical it, and it, it's super easy for them in the electronic world. That's why when people are always like, no, I need it in person. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're losing all the benefits of what happens electronically. Yeah. Like, I feel like I have a giant tech spirit team, you know, like, it's just like, because they have a flare to... for timing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right behind my chair. Yeah, that <laughs> was like something else. <laughs> There's a story um, my partner was telling me recently where she works at a summer program. So the whole staff was in a lot in this in their meeting area, which is indoors, when the one room indoor, and there's a, a light switch on, on the wall that's in a bookcase that is a dimmer. And they were having a talk about energy at their, their summer program. And it's always been kind of understood as a pretty energetically significant place. And often, and sometimes some, certain summers are very active. Um, and one thing my partner does is collects all the lore from everyone who comes through. So people who are campers become parents and then they cook in the kitchen and she collects. Got any stories? What, what, what have you experienced? I love um, it. And so she, some people are getting a little freaked out, a little worked up. And then someone kind of spoke and said, you know, I think whoever, they might be here, but they're here, I think out of love because wonderful things have happened at this camp, continue to happen. And as they said that, the lights just dimmed. And no one had, and there's only one light switch and no one touched it. I was talking to someone who was there in the, the during the, st the story being told, said they were actually facing the, the, the light switch and it, they didn't see anyone near it. And it's never done that before. And it's never done that since. And then they're like, okay, I think we've gotten the message and they just turn the light back on and they continue their meeting. And so it makes sense if energy affecting energy. Right. So, but wow. yeah, no, that's, yeah, that, that, uh, <laughs> Uh, that story definitely gave me the goosebumps. I was like, wow, yeah, there it is. Right? But um, so I think um, in terms of hauntings and ghosts, um, and I feel like we've covered a lot of good ground, a lot of my questions, um, and I think also set up a frame framework to understand these different phenomenon as people understand them. And, you know, I'm like, okay, this is the, the lens. Um, cause I've heard some people say, you know, there's like what they would call it an intelligent haunting, which maybe is more of a spirit. There's certain things that feel like almost like a repeat of a, like a scene in time. So if you're experiencing that, then that's the energy of that moment. Um, mm -hmm. one question I have that just popped in my head is why are some areas of certain locations more energetically active than others? That's a really good question. Okay. Wow, this is fascinating, actually. Okay. Um, what I keep on getting, they keep on showing me like your feet on the map. So our mm -hmm. feet like walks on these like, uh, oh, it's okay. It's ley lines. So, you know, mm -hmm. do you know what ley lines? <clears throat> we'll just like, some, talk, yeah, know. please ex explain it because I have a vague understanding. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of do too, to be honest. Okay. But, um, from what I understand is ley lines are literally just energy um, uh, cords, you know, that kind of cross and where they cross is kind of like the focal point of the fulcrum, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it's not just that it's also where they're running. So um, a lot of times uh, like even animals in nature, there's ley lines all over the place. And so we, the ley lines actually water usually flows through that area mm. um, on way underground. So like, it's the same thing of why deer, when they're walking on, they always follow a ley line. So if you look oh. at a deer path, they're always going to make a path usually where the water is way deep down underneath. But they oh. also don't ever sleep on a ley line. That's really, really important because why? It has too much energy. It's just oh. like, it's just too much. So that's what they were showing when you asked that question that the they were saying you're also attracting it and it's a, this is kind of blows my mind that you're attracting it in the sense of remembering that you were once here 
So they're showing it almost as if you were in a past life, almost like a past life situation hmm. and that you attract it of a connection of, um, because they're saying like, they're showing it like a map, like a street map. So there's like all these mm. streets and you're, I see your feet like walking on the, on the lines. And then you kind of step to the side and you're identifying almost on an energetic point of a parallel life that mm. you are experiencing or did experience, you know, we'll just say past life for now. Um, sure. that you did experience and so you're also like why why would you be attracted to that you know what i'm saying like mm. there's a whole bunch of things that happened all over the world you know what i'm saying but like why am i attracted to this at this time you know that mm -hmm. so they're saying it's actually also they're saying that you release the energy so you're actually releasing by remembering it so hmm. even if it doesn't make any sense, because I keep on seeing, for some reason, I keep on seeing like water and surfboard and stuff like that. So it could be some something super simple, but hmm. that specific areas are helping you remember. It's kind of like when you look about past lives, you're, mm -hmm. you're recollecting it, not to be like, wow, I was a queen, you know, or something like yeah. that. You, you're probably a peasant, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But like statistically remember, speaking, you probably weren't. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I was the Joker that fell off the cliff. Right. You know? But like that, you're they're saying you're remembering it to release it, so it mm. doesn't have to almost play out in your life, um, as dense energy. And again, mm. they're not having an opinion about this; they're having it more as. Like, you know, when you get stuck, like right now, it's interesting because this has just literally come up today. I'm so glad we're talking about this. And I was just like, oh shit, it really might be a past life. And I just talked mm. to somebody yesterday and she's a, she's learning to be a past life regressionist and so, so mm. forth. And it was, and we were kind of talking about this of that it is in a way and how I'm seeing it right now, it is in a way to release your, your awareness of it is to remember and to release it. So that area almost needs to be cleared itself. And by mm. your remembering and reawakening is the thing that frees it. Just like mm. how we're talking about, like if you feel a ghost is trapped, you're just revisiting and re possibly remembering. You might be remembering yourself to be very honest. Mm. Okay. Mm. So that's what I kept on getting of like when people mm. are like, when psychics are like, oh no, this person is just like, is this person also you? <laughs> How did you get to question. that place? How did yeah. you know? So detail of dot, dot, dot. And mm -hmm. are multiple people this person? You know, mm. there's a whole nother, you know, thing. So mm. um, do you feel like they're saying it as places are active, just like, and like, beings are active it's just a holding of remembering of energy and so mm -hmm. you're you remembering which is reawakening is able to kind of give peace to it give allowance to expand expansion to it you know it's almost like we're picking up on it because it's dense because mm -hmm. we kind of it's because it's in front of us you know like because we're dense and it's dense, we're going to hit, you know, hit mm -hmm. ourselves and that kind of stuff. And, uh, they're, they're saying, well, we use that, you know, that's mm -hmm. why, that's why it's a, a denser energy. So you pay attention. So you yeah. trip and fall into it, you know, in that way, because it wants to be reawakened to heal itself. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. And I have one more question that I've written down that feels silly but then it's also like interesting and it, i've seen this this question posted on the internet a bit, a bit and it is why are do we not see or <laughs> any dinosaur ghosts why <laughs> it's, it's like embarrassing to say out loud but it's like it's like you know that is a interesting question right like we see human forms we see we you know but i've never seen a dinosaur ghost this. i absolutely love it. I was like I want to name my the title of this podcast this <laughs> like yeah. I absolutely love it it's such a good question I'm like I don't know All yeah right, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second 
there's so many they're showing me like dino chicken nuggets that's what they keep on showing they're like because they're extinct <laughs> but they're showing it actually in the sense of time so it's just yeah. like the same thing as like we don't see neanderthal ghosts we don't go oh. back that far as almost as if they keep on saying like our time consciousness isn't um unless like it's jesus you know what i'm saying it doesn't go back that 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 far if you think about it also oh. um in past life regression most people when they go through a regression they're not going past you know um they might go to start if they were a king or something like big like that but they're rarely going back to like <laughs> like cave yeah. like the cave people or and why um, is that I just feel like because our consciousness we're too we're so obsessed with time and our and our brain yeah. is so obsessed with time that it's too far back of we don't have an understanding of all the elements so we're not like living in a house having right. children we have totally different I just make fire kind of concept yeah. Yeah. And so our consciousness at that time was not about living longer. It was just about making fire. It was mm. just about eating dino nuggets, you know, mm. or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So they're showing it as so basic and childlike that it's, they say it's more because we're time conscious, you know, so mm. we don't, we can't go back that far because we weren't really, that's not our consciousness back then. Um, so so our, our consciousness thing. has shifted enough from then to now and what that we can't progress to a time before we had this consciousness. This level. Yes. Okay. And on top of it, they're showing of the only reason why we see our animal ghost. They're just like animals don't separate that from us. So animals mm. aren't seeing our ghost. They're just seeing us. Mm. okay mm. so it's the same thing with dino ghosts you know dinosaur ghosts or whatever it's too far past time that's what they're saying but they're also saying that they don't really have ghosts like they're not being like oh look at that human that has passed even though the dinosaurs are you know long gone they're not like right. look at that ghost it it doesn't it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's just it, they're showing it as more like Ghosts are for humans, <laughs> only for really? us to identify, huh. you know, whereas like animals, they might see actually a spirit ghost, but to them, it's not literally a ghost. Mm. It just is how they see humans in general. You know what I'm saying? It's either in body or just like, well, I see your energy body. It's just like how uh, dogs can sniff out diseases. You know right. what I'm saying? They because they're they're tapping in. It's not just their nose. They're tapping into their sensory perception of the energy body. So it's even though it's really hard for let's say when a dog loses its human, a lot sometimes it can be like really really hard. But their mourning is more for the same mourning as that we we have so much comfort of the physical body. You know what mm. I'm saying? And then after a week or two weeks or something like that, they are just like, okay. And then once they get past that, I keep on getting that it's not until like maybe let's say a month or stuff like that, or it sometimes happens right after. And maybe, you know, we're able once, let, let's say my dog's living and I pass and my dog all of a sudden is like, oh my gosh, I really miss my mom, you know? And so the dog sleeps with my clothes or, you know, mm. wants to still have all the sensory input of the physical being, but the dog will probably see my spirit, you know, energetically. But again, the dog is in such human life, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Dinosaurs weren't in the human life. Uh, realm you know they weren't like I mean I am even like thinking how did dinosaurs even know like they wouldn't like did they just have see all their relatives all, all the time you know what I'm saying not even as ghosts as right. like as if they didn't leave the body like I don't know like that would be really fascinating but I feel they they make it as if that's true like there's no separation mm. it's only our separation as humans as seeing 
go. So when the dog, when my dog is living and I cross over, they might see a spark of me and that you'd be like, Oh my God, you know, my dog, Luna, she, she sees her mom, Vanessa. Oh my gosh. And then she might get really sad and still go, you know, you're mourning the body. You're mourning mm -hmm. that physical loss. Cause that's a, that's a really important part. We're not supposed to like, be like, it's okay. It's only the body. That's not true. You know, mm. our body is a giant part of our life. It is so important to mourn the body and that there's no time limit on that. Mm. I still mourn the body for a very long time. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, yeah. it's an important part of grieving. Um, and grief doesn't necessarily end. It just shifts, but that, the then eventually I keep on getting like around a month maybe or something like that. I do feel like the, the dog might see me in ghost form, but they don't compute, but it's more because the other humans around that are projecting that consciousness of that. The dog would be seeing that. I don't oh. feel like the dog sees that. I feel like the dog feels me. So okay. Luna would feel me of like, Oh my gosh, I feel yeah. lighter. And I feel her around, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm not like literally seeing her yeah. orb, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just, see I'm feeling her. So mm -hmm. they'll feel more density, you know? So when they, I feel like when they're staring up into space or whatever, it's not necessarily that they're seeing something, it's that they're feeling, and that might be through sight, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they're feeling, and if you ever think about it, they usually look up, they don't yeah. look down. And again, right. that's why ghosts have no feet, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that is uh that's okay it's, well thank you for answering the dinosaur question i feel like i like my brain came up with three more dinosaur questions i'm like those aren't good questions just just let it go i got enough i got a look you know because i think one you know i i because i my brain thinks in a linear fashion there was like this evolution of creatures that came out of the sea they occupied the earth. We got you know, dinosaurs were very developed. They had some of them had some level of intelligence, and then obviously cataclysm wiped them off the earth. And then other things kind of. So it's like, are we energetically in some way those older ancient creatures, or are humans energetically just really different? Like, did we come onto the scene? Like, were they? Are are we somehow? still all kind of connected like things that are so ancient or is it just too far back that it's hard to kind of tell that's fascinating so what i while you're talking i kept on getting that we're recycled but we have a new added element and they keep on saying metal there's something met i don't want to even say metallic but something metal like where like a, a different element so it's mm. like almost like in a DNA kind of way, you know how mm. like you just change maybe a chromosome or something like that. You just change something and then it could alter something else. Mm. That's what they keep on showing, but they say it in an elemental way. Mm. So it's not that we're reincarnated as right. like, oh, I'm this and oh, or, or like how people like, there's always the question, like, can I be an animal? Can I be... Right. you know, something else, not just human and stuff like that. And the answer is yes. That's what I keep on getting, but yeah. I keep on getting specifically to your question that we are recycled, but they keep on saying, it's almost feels like from outer space, you know, when like an asteroid or mm -hmm. like even a star, you know, it, it's coming and that el those elements are coming into uh, forming the body and just like, you know, we're made of stars. You were, yeah. those elements are, that's what I feel like. And so this is really mm. interesting of, so like any explosions or any, you know, the continents and just all these different things, that's added elements. And so that's what they keep on showing, which is like blowing my mind. Cause I never knew that, or, you know, thought about that or whatever, but they keep on saying the word, the, it, I want to say metal, but they're not letting me say metal, but it's yeah. something, and they're not letting me say metallic. But it's something because they show they show a square and it looks silver. That's what, yeah, mm. like it's just a square. I can't do a square for some reason, but like a square. And they're showing yeah. like a they're saying like a plate. Like it just changes, um, and they're showing it very uh, gray, like shiny, mm. not shiny, dull, and it looks just gray. But it, okay. to me, that's like a metal plate, like that kind okay. of stuff. And that's the added element to being human okay that's what I, said. I like that i that's interesting because my partner and i we were swimming 
on one of these really hot days on the East Coast. And we were just floating, actually waiting in the river up to our like up, up to our necks. Uh, and it was lovely. And then just kind of talking about our first memories of, of water and understanding what water is. And then the fact that all the water that's on Earth has always been on Earth. And so the water that we are in was inside of dinosaurs, inside of ancient yes. trees. And so like there's that fun, when learning that as a kid, it's, a, it's that fun kind of like brain connection to, to just be able to go as far back as you can think, right? And it's kind of a cool thing that, yeah, that, that water has been in every, uh, it's been around the world, you know. And, and your other that, lifetimes. Right, exactly. And you know? and water, you know, there's energy in water and things like that. So it's, it, yeah, it's kind of those, it's that fun thing to think that we're just and recycled air. and upgraded dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's the end of the dinosaur questions. Uh, I hope, uh, I, and if I people have more, it. maybe they, yeah, I, I think it's just, it. I think you we know. should add a, add a dinosaur question, like a pop in with every like random thing of like, I really yeah, do. <laughs> absolutely. Um, I, I can do that. I can make that happen. Watch what you wish for. Um, <laughs> right. And so I think that's, that's kind of in terms of ghosts, that's what I have um, just had written down and off the top of my, my, my head. Um,